Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are joining. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you five fragrances that I feel are truly underrated. I can't wait to share these with you. I truly love all of them. But before we get started on the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel out and I would love to have you as part of this amazing fragrance community. So now that's out of the way, let's jump straight into my first underrated fragrance recommendation. First up is a fragrance called 11 AM. Now this is from a brand called HOC or Hock. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say the brand name, but let's just go with HOC. Now this fragrance, my best friend was here to stay and this one got delivered, I think it was about four weeks ago. And we were both sat there at my kitchen counter and we smelt this and we both fell in love with it. She was absolutely obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed and my husband loves this too. So what does this smell like? Okay, the first impression I had of this was the most realistic rose petals, but it was sweet and almost a little bit sexy too. I was picking up a spicy vibe as well. Now, it takes a lot for me to love a rose fragrance now, just because it's been so done as a fragrance note. And I started my love of fragrances with the note of rose. It's definitely what I used to wear the most, but this fragrance really took me by surprise. There's some vanilla in here too. It's quite an alluring scent profile. You have a cashmere vibe as well. It opens up with mandarin and raspberry, but the thing that sets this apart is the coffee note. Coffee, rose, vanilla, cashmere, raspberry. Oh, it just smells so, so good. I would highly recommend getting a sample of this one if you like the sounds of the notes because this is such an underrated fragrance. The rose is quite jammy, very, very sensual, definitely one that will garner compliments too. But this brand is so undiscovered. I haven't ever seen a review of this brand. And I also have samples of the two other fragrances that they have in their collection. And one of the other ones smells like the most delicious sugary lemon shortbread but we're not talking about that today, we're talking about 11 a.m. Sorry if it feels like I'm hyping this up, I'm trying not to, but it really took me by surprise because it's such an incredible rose fragrance with a twist. This is a rose fragrance first and foremost, but the other notes play into the addictive nature of the scent profile. The other notes that I pick up on the most is raspberry, coffee, and vanilla but you're mostly getting that jammy rose at the heart of it. If I can find anywhere that sells a sample of this brand, I will link it down below. Hopefully they have samples on their website, but this is one that I would definitely recommend trying out if you like the sounds of the notes. It performs beautifully. It's not a beast mode by any means, but it definitely has medium to long longevity. I get around six to seven hours, so maybe let's say medium longevity, but such a show-stopping fragrance in my opinion. Great quality and a showstopper. Next up is a fragrance called Blonde Redhead by Nado. Now, I don't know if I can really say this is underrated because it's quite a new brand to the market, but this is a fragrance that is going to wow so many people. I am utterly obsessed with it. I think I've spoken about it twice already on my channel and I have to mention it again because it has really impressed me. This in essence is a fruity floral gourmand with a twist. I get this almost strawberry sponge cake vibe with vanilla whipped cream or vanilla buttercream. And then you have this light airy Frisian note, which creates a slightly more unique twist to it and cuts through some of that heavier gourmand touch. The other thing that I really love about this fragrance is the note of dates. It's got this sticky, addictive vibe to it. So let me set the scene a little bit. This is a 
strawberry and cream sponge cake with sticky dates throughout and then some freesia petals sprinkled on the top. That is what I'm getting from this fragrance. This is on the more affordable side of niche fragrance brands. I find that a lot of niche fragrance brands sit at around $200. This one is under $100. I believe it is $80. You can get 10% off two with my discount code, which brings it down to $70 but this fragrance is just incredible. I have another fragrance from the brand too, which is amazing, but this one is definitely my favorite. Super, super addictive, just stands out to me. And if you watch my channel, you will know I love a fragrance called Jardins de Mispa by Unui Nomad, which has rose and dates in it. And this almost has a similar-ish scent profile. However, this is more gourmand and this is more crazy creamy, it's got that vanilla in here, it's more cakey. So yeah, it's no wonder that I love this fragrance. Again, I'm trying not to get too excited because I don't like hyping up fragrances too much on my channel, but this one has definitely stolen my heart recently and I highly recommend it. Speaking of the brand Unui Nomad, my next recommendation is Love at First Sight by Unui Nomad. Now, the brand has so many fragrances that I feel are truly underrated. This is another brand where you can pick up their scents for under $100. They also sell multiple different size formats, so you can pick a size that is suited to your budget. Now, the reason why I feel Love at First Sight is underrated is because this is the most realistic lilac scent that I have ever sampled. It smells like you are walking through the most beautiful garden and you are surrounded by lilac bushes or trees. It's very, very romantic. It gives me Bridgerton vibes. I don't know why, but that's just the feeling. I could imagine walking through a garden, wearing a pretty dress, maybe going for a picnic and you're surrounded by those fresh beautiful lilac flowers. It's just incredible. It also has a passion fruit note that adds a kind of sweet tartness. The lilac is definitely the most prominent and then you get a little bit of that passion fruit. It has a slight green touch to it as well, but it is more simplistic in scent profile. Those are the notes that I pick up on the most. So if you are looking for an ultra realistic floral, specifically lilac dominant, then I would definitely check out Love at First Sight. There's not many lilac fragrances on the market, not that I've smelt anyway, and this is definitely, definitely one of the best out there at a more affordable price point too. So if you're looking for a beautiful floral fragrance for the spring or for the summertime, this is the one that I would recommend sampling. Perfect for a first date, perfect for a picnic, and it would also make a really beautiful bridal scent. So this is my next underrated fragrance recommendation. Next up is Violet Shot by Olfactive Studio. Now, this one is truly underrated. I see Iris Shot getting a lot of attention and for good reason, Iris Shot is amazing. I don't know why I stumble over those words together, but Violet Shot. This is one of the best violet fragrances that I have ever sampled. Again, very, very realistic as a note, but it's also got this green quality to it. You are getting the Parma Violet vibe from it, which I really adore, but you're also getting a very realistic greenness about it. It smells again like you are outdoors in nature, surrounded by violets, but it's very head turning too. This is almost like a sweetened version of Dior's Fahrenheit, way more unisex, if not leaning slightly more feminine leaning because of the sweetness in here, but the violet is the star of the show. What makes this sweeter is the vanilla in the base and it definitely adds an almost creaminess to the overall scent profile. You do have a slight fruitiness up top too, which is coming from Mandarin, but I almost pick up a raspberry note too. There's a little bit of pink pepper that is adding some bite to this, but the overall vibe of this is a blast of sweet violets. 
with that greenness with the vanilla in the base i just think this is such an attractive fragrance one that is very timeless because of the scent profile it's quite traditional in many ways yet at the same time modern so think classic perfumery which has a modern twist to it so this brand has so many fantastic fragrances, so many underrated gems in my opinion, but Violet Shot is one of the ones that I feel is one of their best fragrances that not many people speak about. So if you are looking for a Violet fragrance with a twist, I would definitely recommend checking out Violet Shot. Next up is Inlay by Memo Paris. Now, Memo Paris has quite a few popular fragrances, but I feel like Inlay doesn't get the love that it deserves. This is one of my favorite fruity tea fragrances that's slightly floral, very, very wearable, would make the perfect signature scent, but it is such an incredible tea fragrance. You get a blast of Osmanthus, and if you do not know, Osmanthus sometimes smells like apricot, so think apricot and tea, specifically mate tea. And there's other florals in here too. I'm getting iris, I'm getting jasmine. It's a little bit musky. You have a juicy burst of bergamot in the opening, but the notes that mostly stand out to me are the osmanthus and the tea mixed in with some musk. You definitely get the bergamot too. Light florals throughout. This is just so, so special. Perfect for the summertime. I know some of you love this fragrance because you've mentioned it in the comments before, but I do feel like it is truly underrated. If you're looking for a fresh tea fragrance that has a beautiful jammy apricot sweetness, a little bit of citrus up top from the bergamot. There is a mint note in here. It's not super prominent, but it does cut through some of that sweetness some light spices you should definitely check out inlay it's such an underrated gem in my opinion so those were all of the fragrances that i wanted to showcase in today's video i could have featured so many more fragrances but i wanted to keep this list a little bit more condensed please do let me know if you have tried any of the fragrances i mentioned in today's video but what i would love to know is what are some of the fragrances that you have in your collection or that you've sampled that you feel are truly underrated? Please do let me know down in the comments below, but thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.